Brethren, if you ask most people today, is Roman Catholicism Christian? You get a real strange look, even from pastors in this generation. I know many people claim to be Christian and Roman Catholic, and many are willing to accept that if a Roman Catholic says, yes, I'm a Christian, they will accept that and move on as if it's no big deal. However, Christian is what the Bible defines what Christianity is and what a Christian is. By that starting point, we come to the conclusion that the Church of Rome is not the Christian Church, but an unchristian, an antichrist cult. It's a cult because, first of all, it does have a source of supposed divine authority beside and apart from and beyond the Bible. Ultimately, brethren, for Rome, authority resides in the Church of Rome. And that means the Pope, his cardinals, his bishops, the teaching, the catechism of the Roman Catholic, and I put it in quotation marks, tongue-in-cheek church. That's where the authority rests. And the tradition of Roman Catholicism certainly needs interpretation, and only the church, conveniently, can possibly have the right or has the right to interpret tradition. Similarly, you know, the church has the right to judge the meaning and authority, if any, of scripture. Brethren, listen, that is the very basic mark of a cult. Now, some will say, now does Rome not believe in the Trinity? Well, yes, she does, but she adds a fourth member because the Church of Rome talks of Mary in terms as if Mary has been assumed to heaven and that she is the one who is a great mediatrix. Does Rome not believe in the deity of Jesus Christ? Well, she professes to believe in Jesus Christ and many individual Roman Catholics uh, sincerely believe in the deity of Jesus Christ. But as a system, the Church of Rome denies Jesus Christ. When you take the most basic truth of the revelation of God in Christ, what is it? It is the finished work of Christ on the cross. It is the redemption that is in the Lord Jesus Christ. The big question that the gospel answers is how can a man be just before God? How can I be accepted before God? How can I be saved? Now, listen, you can't get any more fundamental than that because if you're wrong in that, you are lost for all eternity. You realize there's nothing more fundamental than that. And you see, Rome denies. In fact, not only denies, but places her curse upon the biblical exposition of the gospel. Justification by God's grace alone, through faith in Jesus alone, in his merit alone, faith alone in Christ alone. That's God's way of salvation. The Council of Trent, which is the last great authority or authoritative statement that Rome has made on this subject, has placed the curse of the papacy on 
anybody that believes that. This is no small matter, brethren. This is vital for us to get together and understand what Rome believes. Because the Church of Rome believes as a quote-unquote church that their, their position has been made clear. And it's a position that denies the Bible way of salvation. That, my brethren, according to Galatians chapter 1, that brings Rome under the anathema or the curse of God Almighty. This is not a Christian church. This is an un-Christian and anti-Christian cult. Are there individual members in it who, despite the darkness of the system, have by the grace of God come to know Jesus? I don't doubt that at all. I don't doubt that at all. And I believe it's true this very day. But that does not change the fact that the system itself is fundamentally unbiblical, fundamentally anti-Christian. And therefore, the Roman Catholic Church is not a Christian church. Brethren, I would implore you today to pray for those that you know are caught up in this false system under a man who would dare refer to himself as the vicar of Christ, the representative of Christ on earth, so named the Pope. The only one he represents is the spirit of Antichrist, because the one who represents Christ on earth today is the Holy Spirit, and he is the only one who can convict sinners of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. The Pope of Rome has no authority whatsoever. Always and only is the authority in Christ alone. And to be under his headship, to be saved, is to be in Christ, to have faith in him alone. Amen.